Do you even know what civilized means, at Secretary Pompeo? Maybe it's pouring lethal weapons into a region to enable human wars. Or is it a millennia-old nation that hasn't attacked anyone for centuries? Really? Iran hasn't attacked anyone for centuries? The thousands of innocent people killed and injured by Iranian terror around the globe would disagree. While Iranian Foreign Minister Zarif has been busy on Twitter, here's what his regime has been up to lately. Let's start with Syria. Iran has fought alongside Syrian dictator Bashar Assad since the beginning of the Syrian civil war, complicit in the murder of 400,000 Syrians and the displacement of millions. In late August, Israel thwarted an attack from Syria in which Iranian operatives attempted to use killer drones to attack communities in northern Israel. Less than a month later, IRGC militants attempted to launch a series of rockets from Lebanon into Israel. Speaking of missiles, Iran also funds Hezbollah, a Lebanon-based terror organization which has launched thousands of rockets and missiles at Israel over the last three decades. Today, it has more than 150,000 rockets directed at Israel, courtesy of Iran. On September 1st, the Iranian proxy fired several anti-tank missiles at a community in northern Israel and at an IDF position. Iran also financed the terror tunnels between Lebanon and Israel, built by Hezbollah to kidnap and murder innocent Israeli civilians. Iran and its proxies are not only targeting Israelis. Hezbollah is responsible for murdering thousands of people in terrorist attacks around the globe. And in the past year alone, three separate Iranian assassination attempts were thwarted by European authorities in Denmark, France, and Austria. But IRGC operatives aren't the only Iranian forces capable of reaching Europe. Iran has developed missiles which can carry nuclear warheads and have a distance of over 2,000 kilometers, capable of reaching Europe, Asia, and Africa. For a country which claims it hasn't attacked anyone in centuries, Iran doesn't seem to be doing anything other than attacking. Iran's actions speak louder than Zarif's words, which is why the international community should do the same and take the measures needed to put an end to Iran's global campaign of terror.